and one. That's Adam Nanya, used to represent Poland, now swimming for the U.S. From the Schrader Y in Milwaukee, qualified seventh. James White there in lane two from Auburn. He was 13th in this event at the Japan Grand Prix this summer in Shiba, Japan. In lane three, that's Eric Shanto, third in the world this year, excuse me, in 2006, but is behind Phelps and Lochte, so tough spot to be. Great swimmer there, Eric Chanteau, swims for Longhorn. In lane four, your top qualifier. Well, that's Michael Phelps. We're going to see lane four, Ryan Lochte. There he is, our top qualifier, American record holder. In lane number five, we widen out there. Michael Phelps, making sure those goggles are on tight. The Olympic champion in the 200-meter individual medley. There's Doug Van Wee, lane six. We'll go back to Phelps there. There's Doug Van Wee, Mecklenburg Aquatic Club in lane number six. He was 12th in this event at the World University Games last summer. In lane seven, there's John Doerr, Trojan Swim Club. And he was 14th in this event at the Nationals 2007. And in lane eight, maybe better known for a breaststroke, a teammate of yours in 2004, there's Mark Gangloff, Mecklenburg Aquatic Club. Second at the Pan American Games in the 100 yard, 100 meter breaststroke. Now I'm saying yard all the time. I'm going to screw myself back up again. I won't be able to change it back. Here we go for this great race. Phelps doing his traditional arm sweep. What do you look for here, Scott, in this race? Well, I'm looking to see how fast Ryan goes out. Michael, obviously, the, the butterfly here in the field. And if Ryan's going to be out and, and beat Michael, I think that he needs to be first here at the 50, and he's going to be pretty close. Well, they turn. Phelps has to turn first, 21.79. Lochte, 22.00. They're both under American record pace. That pace was 22.19 set by Lochte. And Lochte has pulled ahead here on the backstroke. If there's one stroke that we know that Lockie has an advantage in, it's here in the backstroke, and he looks like he's pulling away from Phelps here. And he's now a body length up on Phelps at the 100-yard mark. The split here, 46-4-4. He's two-tenths of a second under his American record pace. Phelps in second, and Van Wee in third. Lockie's still leading with... Just under three laps to go. The that's split we're looking for, 116.25. I just don't know if Michael has enough in him to catch Ryan here. I think it's going to be pretty hard in 50 yards. 115.5. He is seven-tenths of a second under his American record pace. We're looking for 140.55. Rocky looking very strong here. Let's see how far he stays under here in the last lap. Good, uh, maybe eight, ten yards. Phelps trying to run, reel him in here. But it's going to be Ryan Lochte. We break 140, and he is under. Oh, oh he's not just under. misses. 140.08. But that is a new American record. American record by about half a second. Wanted to get under, just didn't. Phelps second, 141.32. What a great race that was. Congratulating each other there as we widen out. And the solid crowd here at the Georgia Tech Aquatic Center congratulating Ryan Lochte on that American record, 140.08. You can see here as, as Ryan goes into that last turn and the freestyle comes off and he's got some strong dolphin kicks underwater. And he took advantage of all his turns so that Michael didn't have an opportunity to run him down. And I think that's one of the advantages that, that Ryan had in the short course pool. I think the U.S. should be glad. I think Mark, Coach Mark Schubert's glad those guys are, are on the swimming for the red, white, and blue. And there's Ryan Lochte. And we're kicking it down to Elliot Potasnik on deck with our champion, Ryan Lochte. Well, Ryan, holy smokes. Were you expecting to do this tonight? Um, I kind of want to go under 140, but hey, I'll take it. 50 free next. What do we have in store? Just finished. All right. Congratulations. 